Hi all, welcome to Force Galaxy. Hope you are doing good. So today in this video, we will going to talk about how we can avoid recursion of triggers in Salesforce. Okay, so all must be familiar about the work or uh, the one method that is uh, using this static boolean variable. What we do here, we create a, a utility class and here one static boolean variable is declared and then this static boolean variable is used in our triggers where we used to check the value of this boolean variable if it is true then our logic will going to execute it will going to execute our handler method and if it is false it false it will not going to execute okay so this is how we usually avoid our triggers or recursion in triggers okay so this method no doubt will obviously going to work fine for the records where number of records is less than or equals to 200 but if the number exceeds more than 200 then this method will not going to work as expected okay so what happened as we all know that our triggers runs in number of badges depending upon the number of records so if like suppose i have 400 records so here two times the trigger will going to execute with the total number of records 200 each okay uh, so this is the number with which trigger used to execute okay so here if i have 200 records and i have used this static boolean variable so here for the first time when trigger execute this boolean variable will work fine and execute the logic for first 200 records but now second time when trigger will execute the boolean value uh, the boolean variable value is updated and this will now not going to go inside the if condition where it will check the value is true or not and will not going to execute the logic and moves to the else condition where all the records are skipped and the logic will not be executed okay so we will discuss this on our screen and i will show you the demo how okay so first we will going to try with the method which we usually use that is uh, creating the static boolean so here the static boolean is created which is used in all the triggers so in future it move, if there is any case arises where the recursion happening in the trigger so it it will avoid it so the utility class is created here we and this flag we will going to use are in this account trigger okay so this is what we do we first check whether the value is true or not if it is true then we will going to call our handler the trigger handler and once the handler is called at the end we will going to make this flag false so that the second time if the recursion is happening the so it will avoid it to run the second time or it will avoid to recurse the trigger in time okay so now let's test this for the first 200 records now that is my, i am inserting less than 200 or the 200 records as we know our trigger is executed in our batches of 200 records so first we'll try with 200 and then second time we will try with more than 200 record what will happen if we have more than 200 records and we'll see the debugs in both the scenarios okay let's try to add 100 records okay 101 records will be inserted the trigger is on insert the trigger will fire and we'll see our debugs okay here is the lock for this trigger debug only so as you can see here only the debug of the seventh line is executed that is all records which are passed all, all records which are inserted are processed successfully okay now what if i will try to enter more than 200 records now let's suppose let's try and let's execute this trigger with 210 records so now let's see the debugs what it will going to show Here is the debug. So now here as you can see, the trigger first time when it executed for the 200 records, it has successfully processed the 200 records and our uh, handler is called. But now when the second time the trigger is called, because first time uh, the maximum size will be 200 only and the left time records are 11. So when the second time the trigger tries to call, it 
this time it enters to the else condition because the first time false uh, that flag value is made to false due to which he is unable to execute the logic that is unable to call the handler and skip all the records which are more than 200 so like suppose if you have 1000 records also so using this method of recursion avoiding recursion it will only going to execute for first 200 records and other 800 records it will not going to avoid recursion or logic will not going to execute here so, so so this type of method is okay when you have when you have to work on a single record or on a less than 200 records but if there is a condition that the uh, scenario can come that client can upload more than 200 records or they you can upload more than 200 records then this logic will obviously going to fail and your trigger will not going to execute okay so the second method which we should try or we should practice while avoiding this recursion and so that our report should also not escape and all reports should process successfully okay so the second method is to create the set of ids instead of using this flag what we will do we will collect the number of ids which are processed and these ids we will going to check whether it is executing second time also or not so for now we will not going to use this recursions we simply call our handler okay we will simply call our handler with the condition before insert and update and all okay after calling our handler in the handler itself we will create the set of ids okay and in this set of ids as soon as we will uh so in this set of ids when we loop over this new list or uh, or the list which has came from the trigger that is trigger dot new or the uh, trigger dot old whatever and when we loop over this list what we will do we will put a check and check whether this id is already present in this set or not if it is present then the logic it will not going to in, uh, execute the logic and if it is not present for this record or for this id it will going to execute the logic so in this way and at the end the logic uh, the id which is not present in the set we will going to add this id into this set so uh, using this way you will able to process all the records either it is 200 or 300 you will able to process all the record based on the ids so this is the much better way than using the flag boolean variable okay so this one now we are executing our trigger only for the before insert what if you are using the before update after insert after update other events also so in this do you will going to create another set of id for the after insert for after update also so do you going to create a more number of sets to store these ids no what we will do we can in this case we can create a map like this map of a string and set of ids okay and in this map in this string value we will put the value of the trigger event like if it is before update before insert and before uh, before delete and all whatever so let me add here now let's suppose we have different values like for the before insert we will add the key values here for the events for which our trigger is executing like before update and before insert the trigger is executing so i will add the key values here in this map f map does not contains before update or before insert okay so in this case we will going to add this key value map dot put this string value before insert and on the key we have set of id new set of id okay so this is done for the before first event okay and similarly for the next event also you can uh, do this like for the before update and now when it comes to execute the logic in this case what you will do is instead of checking value in the set of id now we will going to check in the map okay so here what we will do we will get this key value and check whether this account id is present or not 
so if our trigger is executing for the before insert we will do like this uh, there is a map name now don't get this key value on this key value we are checking okay at this key value did it contains this account id contains this account id so if uh, not is written here so at this key value before insert does it contain the account id so if it does not contain it will going to execute the logic and at the end we will going to add this id to this key okay now let's add this dot get or insert dot add on dot obj okay at the end you will going to add this similarly if your logic uh, is executing for the before update you can do the same similarly if your logic is similarly if your logic is executing for the before update before insert and or and after insert or for the different events you can handle it like using the handle it using the map so uh, like for the boolean variable we used to create the utility class so for this also map you can create the utility class and handle this one time in one class and use in all your triggers okay and then you can directly access this using the check recursion dot map dot this using the name you can access this so so these are the better ways to avoiding the recursion of trigger instead of using the boolean check okay hope you guys enjoyed this video and find this useful and if you have any questions or any queries do let me know in the comment section and on the video which i have shared or uh, the question answer video i have found many comments are there with the questions and i have not replied on yet because uh, i was waiting for few more questions and then i will collect all will share the another video answering all the questions so uh, answering on a video is a much better way to explain you while answering on the comments so don't worry if i have not replied yet on the questions so i will share the video soon on answering all the questions okay so we'll meet you soon in the next video till then take care goodbye